MSI Brickstack's clay brick tiles are ideal for residential and commercial applications, as well as flooring, accent walls, and more. Whether you choose a straight lay or herringbone pattern, these tiles are easily installed and low maintenance. In this video, we'll walk you through the wall installation process with our mesh mounted tiles. Brick stacks are also available as loose lay bricks, but the installation process is the same for both. To get started, you'll need the following a diamond disc, trowel, grout, grout bag, leveling compound, crack suppression membrane, finish nails, thin set, grout release, sponge, and a bucket. Before installing, fix all the uneven areas on the surface. A leveling compound may be needed to make the surface perfectly flat. Small cracks can be fixed using a crack suppression membrane or patch. Identifying the starting point using guidelines will keep brick stacks straight and symmetrical after installation. The size of the trowel depends on the thickness of the tiles. The thinner the material, the smaller the trowel. A quarter inch by three eighths inch will be used for this installation. Brick stacks, unless otherwise specified by your customer, are usually laid on white thinset to avoid altering its color. We recommend using a wet cutting method. Do not dry cut the product using power tools during the installation process. Improper installation techniques could expose the installer to harmful silica dust. Once the starting grid has been marked, Using the flat side of the square notch trowel, apply a layer of thin set and use the notch side to go over the thin set to make uniform depth. Because it dries quickly, make sure to apply only enough adhesive to the area that you can tile within 15 minutes. Once the adhesive is spread over the surface, start laying down the mesh mounted sheets. Position the sheet against the surface, correct any alignment errors, then secure in place by pressing firmly. If the sheet starts to slide down, place a few finish nails on top of the first grout line to hold it in place, and then move to the next tile. After one section is done, use a damp sponge to clean up any residue of thin set that may have squeezed up between the tiles. Thin set usually requires 24 hours for curing, but to ensure proper drying, follow manufacturer guidelines. Spray a grout release on the tile before grouting. Before applying grout, make sure that the adhesive is set and firm and the tiles are clean. Use a grout bag to pipe the grout between the tiles. Use vertical and horizontal strokes to spread the grout evenly. Apply a little pressure to make sure that all the joints are well filled. While the grout is still fresh, stroke diagonally to remove excess grout. Wipe with a wet sponge to clean. Apply grout sealer according to the manufacturer's instructions. And you're all finished. Don't forget to tag us in your photos with hashtag MSI Surfaces on social media.